Hello friends, welcome to my childcare. In this video, I will show you all the new changes I did in the month of July. Stay with me. July is a busy month. The first week we did the celebration of the 4th of July. And then the whole theme for this month is called summer. Now we only have one pen. So what I do is I clean every use. Here's our attendance sheet. I also have a weekly survey that I do every Monday or at the beginning of the week. And now we have our new routine. We had to make some changes because now I have a group of toddlers and also school age kids. I also have my summer program. So all the little details is there, especially what's happening on Tuesday, Wednesday with a little description. I got these banners from Amazon. At the end of this video, you're gonna be able to see the descriptions. I also got this clock. It used batteries. And then I got this wood calendar. I really like it. I can keep it outside. And then this basket was made by my stepdaughter. Her name is Liz. And then now that the parents are not able to go inside and not everybody has Facebook or Instagram, I put some of the pictures of the kids here. This is how it looks my classroom inside. This one is a decoration that I did with the calendar and I'm gonna show you in this link where I got them. And then we are in the month of July, Julio in Spanish. And this is the bulletin I have for the month. And I always keep this for the whole season. So like summer, spring, I only do it every season, this. I don't make it changes every month. This one will be every three months. The only thing I do is I add something different. This is what the kids did, and every child did on. Some of them, they took it home. Some of them, they did double, but just kept a few. So this is how my classroom looks now. Because of the COVID-19, there's new regulations or recommendations too. Now each child, they have their own case with pens, pencils, markers. These cases, I got them from the dollar store. The plate names, I got them from Amazon, and I had to make these changes because of the COVID-19. But this is how it looks every day. I might have to do a different video only to talk about the changes for the COVID-19 and also the things I got from the dollar store. The first week I did all about July, which was the 4th of July celebration. The second week I did uh, the ice cream theme. And the last two weeks is all about the ocean. Now let me show you what I did in the science area. I didn't have a space so I put this on top of the block area. In the science area we are learning about shells. These posters I got from Etsy and then I got the books from Amazon. I have many school kids age. For this group I had to create this area. They are doing a research about shells. They are also doing a project. Every day the kids write a journal. This is a great topic. So this is our science area. The dramatic area has changed. Welcome to our ice cream shop. This is the third year that we are doing the ice cream shop in our dramatic play. And we normally do in the month of July. And this is gonna be maybe until next month. It's gonna depend also how much the kids like it. It was fun putting all this together with the kids. They were so excited. This is the menu when the kids, they want to buy ice cream. This year we bought a adorable ice cream car. The kids have spent this week selling ice cream at all hours of the day, and they are no bored at all. I got it from Amazon for $120. It's a good price, the kids are busy, they are happy. It's a good toy to buy. Here's our menu, when a client comes, the kids are able to place the order. We also have a cashier machine here with money, of course. I laminate the money so it lasts me longer. I got this decoration from Amazon. It's made of plastic, but it looks really cool. When the kids saw the first day, they were impressed. This also, this background is from Amazon and I'm using two different kinds. So it can give a different touch and it can look the place like a ice cream shop. If you haven't done this theme, I recommend you to do it. The kids are gonna learn so much. 
Here is our ice cream. It's made of tissue. Different colors of tissue. I got them from the dollar store. Here is our toppings. We have different kinds. I got all this one from Amazon. Also this wood tray. I got this one during the transportation week. I had to buy many cars. So this one came with the cars and I'm using as a topping tray for my ice cream shop. I also have the fake uh, cherries and I'm using just pompons. This kind of a scoop for the ice cream, it's okay. I already broke one, but it's okay. They are toys, they are made of plastics. For that reason, I have different kinds. Now, who wants to buy ice cream? It's only a dollar. I got this one from the Michoacana last year. And every year I always bring new things. And then when I see them on sale, I always buy them. Something that I recommend is to put all the things that you're gonna do in the year, to put in your phone and buy them when they are on sale. For example, these pink baskets, I got them for 10 cents after Easter. I made these trays using a Play-Doh case that I got from Target. I just paint them. I need more trays, so this was a free option. Here also our kids, they have the option to buy their ice cream in a bowl or a cone. We also set up this area for our glasses. They are made of plastic. The kids here, they have a choice to get the drink with ice and without ice. This ice I got it from Amazon. I also went to the dollar store and I was surprised and happy when my daughter, she found these bubbles. So we are using this as pretending drinks. And now the kids, they have more merchandise to sell in our ice cream shop. So this is from the dollar store and the ice is from Amazon. This is how they look. I wish I would be a child again. A good thing I have my childcare I can play with them, I learn with them, and setting this up is one of the most beautiful things about my job. I got this hat from Rite Aid, as you can see. Thank you so much to the manager, Claudia, for giving this to the class. So this is how our dramatic play looks right now. These are the books that we read during the second week of July, and we read one book per day. So in total, I have five books and I will be sharing also the name of all the books. You're going to be able to see that in the list from Amazon at the end of the video. You can check the description of this video and you're going to see the whole link there for you. Our dramatic area right now is taking a big portion of our childcare. I hope you guys like it and who wants ice cream? Now, let me show you all the activities we have done during this month. This month hasn't ended yet, but I wanted to share with you. Enjoy.
did it. I just have to pull it from. Can I see it, Talia? Yeah. Okay, we read the book Rainbow Fish, and after we read this book, we are doing this activity. We are using tissue papers, glitter glue, and we have this template. Because of the COVID-19, now we have individual plates for our sensory activities, and this can be a good idea. The kids were happy they didn't mind because now they had a chance to make it their own ocean. This is one idea that we did for Messy Day, and every Wednesday we do something completely different, depending on the team that we are doing that week. Look these faces, they're happy and we continue doing other things. Same thing with Play-Doh. Now everybody has their own Play-Doh. We cannot share anymore. And this is what they have then. Summer is here and we are spending a lot of time outside. ¿Qué vas a comprar, Emiliano? ¿Qué es lo que hay? And this kind of activities, the kids can see the color. They can also touch different kind of texture. Las burbujas. Otra, Emiliano. Okay guys, come outside. Check this out. So do you guys think we are gonna be fresh now? Yeah. The weather in our city is super, super hot. More than 100 degrees sometimes. So now because of the COVID-19, we have to spend more hours outside. This is a good addition for our summer. We are happy, we are cool. This is the end of this video, and I hope you get ideas for next month. If you are a childcare provider and you enjoy this kind of videos, don't forget to subscribe. Also click the notification button so you won't miss my next video. Thank you for watching. Hasta pronto. See you soon.